Hello everybody, it's me Candace, and guess what came today? It's late at night, I just got home from work, I thought I'd swing through the post office just to check on my way home, and look what happened. What? <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't even tell you. I saw a flip through on Grumble Bunny's channel and oh, this one, this one is so good. Shelly, Chelly, Shelly, Chelly, Carol is a new artist to us and this is Mythagoria Vengeful Forest, a twisted horror coloring book. Brand new, oh, look at the cover. Isn't it's just very typical of Mythagoria, just flashy, in your face, gorgeousness. Oh, isn't that be I love brand new books, they're so so special. But these with their foiling and their deep colors. Oh, I tell you, I almost didn't go by because it was scheduled to come tomorrow, but there it was. Long forgotten curses are lurking behind every tree and shadow. Chelly Carroll is from England. Wow. I just can't tell you how excited I am. So I only saw the flip through from Grumble Bunny. And even though I was tired and was, like, was going to just take a hot bath and go to bed, a long hot bath and go to bed, I decided to take a short hot shower and instead go through this with you because I really wanted us to look at this together, this brand new one. So this is on Amazon and it's full price. So I didn't even wait for it to get to book outlet. I just had to get it. So my dear ones, let's look at it. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't stand it. All right, first off, I'm gonna crack it open a little bit so that just gently so that we can get it to lay flatter. While we look at these fantastic pages. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, here is, careful, okay. Are you ready for this? Oh. So we're seeing this for the first time together. So we've got us a horse that's held together by sinew and it has plants growing through it. I really love the flow of this page. And look, I think those are eyeballs in there. I don't know what's in the tree, but I think I would make them eyeballs. I'm not crazy about being able to see inside animals, but this one isn't too gross. Um, it's more just like, I think you can see into the bone, but there's not like blood and stuff. I love it that the horn is coming through like that. Wow, more eyeballs in this forest. Scary unicorn, but somehow sad, isn't it? Wow, that would be pretty. I'd like to make it though in dark colors, like anti-unicorn colors. All right, I love, and if you haven't seen Mythagoria's, they're just like mythographics, they're one-sided. The paper is a little thinner, but it can handle just about the same amount of stuff that the mythographic can. Oh, isn't that beautiful? They're like death's head moths, you know, the moths that look, that are patterned so they look like they have eyes, and they're dripping tears from the real eyeball that's here. Looks like there might be an eyeball over there too, and one there. And they're dripping into hands, gnarled old hands, that are cupped and catching all the tears. This one could really be stunning for those of you that are really good with unusual color palettes or even just a regular color palette, you know? just. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, look at the lusciousness of this one. Okay, so in these Mythagorias, we often do see these meat-eating plants, but here is a scorpion with patterns of eyeballs on it. 
It's got mushrooms that look menacing, like they might have lips and teeth, some ferns. It's a very lush undergrowth, more scorpions. And all of the mushrooms have angry eyes. Look at these bugs, Doodle. Look at these bugs. So many bugs. I just really, really, really like this book. I think it's just all the plant life that isn't flowers. I'm not fond of all the flowers that show up in our coloring books, but this is, I do like plant life, and this is such interesting plant life. All right. Oh, oh, it's wonderful. It's snakes, look at all the snakes. And there's hands in there. Okay, 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 okay. So we have snakes, but then we have like a hand trying to reach through. Ah, just bones of a hand. And we have another hand here. And another hand here. There's a lot of hands in here. Three hands. And then all these snakes. Now, I don't like, I, I, it's not that I don't like snakes. It's just they startle me in a big way. Um, but I do love to color them because you can just go wild with the iridescence and the shimmery stuff with the snakes. But I don't know if I'd go that shimmery with these ones. Mm. I was just talking in the last Color the Tarot video series on the strength card that there is a, in the Cosmic Spirit, mytho Mythographic Cosmic Spirit has snakes that I would love to go all shimmery. But these... Mm, I really think I'd like to just make them look venomous and green, just like jungle snakes. So cool. I can't even count how many there are. There's like four or five of them in there. Oh, this one is one that really caught my eye. It's a tree that has what looks like, it looks like it has swallowed up people. So there's brains there's eyeballs, more brains, but then there are faces like reaching out from the tree. And this one is leaning over and it could be bleeding or it could be crying. And then and it looks like there's just brains all inside these trees. There's some worms. And then the ravens. And this raven has a long forked tongue, but look at it. It's a swamp. I freaking love to color swamps. That's another sentence I never thought I would ever say. I love to color swamps. They're all drippy. You can make them glowing. Um, they're always just lots and lots of greens. I mean, look at these drippy flowers and the bleeding hearts. And I mean, I absolutely love to color in swampy type stuff. But this tree is so cool. What are you guys thinking about this? Do you think it ranks up there with Night Terrors and the Gothic Cabaret, the Gothic one? Okay, here's a Baba Yaga. We can't have a spooky forest without a Baba Yaga. But what a different Baba Yaga. Usually there's her house on chicken legs, but she's riding in a in a bucket attached to the side and she's I thought that was a telescope but I think it's a, a spear of some sort with skulls hanging off of it let me get my hands out of the way the fence around the house is made of bones this is cool and there's a fire going a cauldron and I love that these ferns are already black for us because they're in the shadow anyway so just a dense forest. Baba Yaga's always seen in these dense forests with these long, limb, uh, leafless trees. Look at that face. See a different artist, different sorts of faces. We've gotten used to Joseph Kattenbang and Fabian Atanasio. It's interesting to see a different artist come in here so that the skulls are made a little differently. The, 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 fa the feathers and the faces are all different. The bones are different, you know, trees are different. I was kind of ready for a new artist in these Mythagorias. 
I did skip the last one that also came out just before this. We're being flooded right now with Mythographics and Mythagorias. There's a Frozen Nightmare one that I Fabian Atanasio did, and I'm going to skip that one. For some people, though, if you read the reviews, oh, those are just flowers on top of like a bone pile or something. If you read the reviews on the Frozen Nightmare one, some people say it's the best one yet. It's very divisive. People either love it or hate it. So you'll have to check it out because it might be the one your favorite one. But I like this one. Okay, the dolls. <laughs> There's always dolls. What is so creepy about dolls? And they are creepy. Um, if you have Nightmare Cabaret with Fausto Bianchi, now he's got actually what looks like dead babies hanging. <laughs> I mean, they're bleeding. So that's that he really pushes the envelope. But this one, these are definitely dolls. There's just creepy things in the dolls. Again, more trees. Who knew you could make trees look so sinister? But these are very sinister. Stuffing coming out of dolls. This doll's got a raven skull. And there's this weird, creepy vine growing through everything. I have yet to color all of the Mythagorias have a doll in them. They all seem to. Night terrors. They all. They've all got coriander. They've all got pictures with the dolls in it somewhere. And I have yet to color one. I really should though, because dolls can be. You can make them super creepy with just really muted grays and soot color browns. Just make them look dirty and weathered down. Oh, okay. This is another one I saw on the flip through that I remember. This is a Wendigo or Wendigo. Um, they're often pictured like this. Uh, they're Native American mythology. And I love this translation of one. The reason I know it's that is, well, there's, this one's got braided hair and feathers, but they also usually have a skull face and antlers. I colored one in Mythagoria Night Terriers, Night Terrors by Fabian Atanasio for October. And you guys probably saw it if you watched my December completed pages, it made a quick appearance. But I like this translation of it because in some stories it does eat your soul. And then look, there's, there's like hands and eyes looking, trying to get out of it. It is often pictured very tall, very uh, sinewy and muscular. And the one that Fabiana colored also, it was on a pile of skulls. So there must have something to do with all the skulls. But it is out in the woods. It's a, you know, a forest creature. And this looks like a, actually, this looks like a dream catcher that's been torn. Like he's torn it. Like it's no longer functioning. That is cool. The moon. <laughs> I like this one a lot. <clears throat> For some reason, I'm fascinated with, I don't know much about the myth, but I'm fascinated with coloring the Wendigo. I'm not even sure I'm saying it right. Ooh, this is, is that fire? Ooh, this is where you'd want to get out those fancy, those of you that have those fancy shimmery watercolors that you get off of Etsy. This is two deer fused into one, but they've got arrows. They're crying. They're made of trees and everything looks like it's on fire. This is, this hits home with me because I survived a forest fire two years ago. I was uh, evacuated for three months. I didn't, for eight weeks, I didn't know if my cabin stood or not. But it did. The fire went around me. It split, went on either side of me, but didn't hit my cabin. Strange. But look at that. This would be pretty intense picture for me to color. I still have yet to color anything with like a forest fire in it. It's just a little bit too close to home right now. Okay, the worst Little Red Robin Riding Hood ever. Because <laughs> she has vampire fangs or wolf fangs, and she's like got grandma's head in a basket, along with what looks like a potato. 
eeks. <laughs> oh, and then there's a scary wolf. And drippy mushrooms and stuff. See, there's flowers and plants here, but they're spooky flowers and plants. Look at that side eye owl going on. Side eye, one eye. Scary looking owl. I like this one a lot. I love these mushrooms that are coming out. I love, she's in these clogs. She's like, there's the ax, but she took, she's the one that took the ax. And look, she has a tail. So is she the wolf Hi, disguised as, hmm, interesting. Little Red Riding Hood was a wolf too. Fun, fun. This uh, this will be a lot of fun. Twisted fairy tale. More chopping off of heads. That just seems to be a really common thing in these mythagorias. You know, people missing their heads. But this one looks like the heads are being... Either the trees are being cut down to reveal the heads or the heads are being placed in the trees. And this guy is all kinds of funked up. Look at him. I don't know how many spines he's got. He's got kind of humanoid body, but then what's going on with those legs? <laughs> That's one crazy humanoid right there. <laughs> this is a crazy picture. <laughs> I would definitely put him in like a lumberjack plaid shirt. Yep. And I'd make the flowers pretty. Let's make it a pretty picture with these severed heads bleeding into the trees. Ooh, I love witchy faces like this. The wartier, the better. Look at the toad with the, with the little fungus growing off of it. Spider. Okay, what's happening here? There's, is her head and the skull fused, but whose hands are these? I'm starting to get a feel for Chelly's, Chelly? Chelly's, Chelly's um, art. It's realistic, but the whole composition is abstract. I don't think it's necessarily meant to make sense. It's almost, some of these are almost like components put together in a composition, but it's not a scene. I mean, it is a scene. I like it though. I like it because it's kind of left up to your interpretation, but you can just color the components. Like this is hair, there's a frog, here's some eyeball flowers, a couple of hands, but it doesn't really have to make sense. Like you don't have to make these hands, the skin tone on these hands match the skin tone on her face. They, don't, they can be someone totally different's hands. Um, Cause whose skull is this? And what is happening here? I think it's more wood and stuff growing in it. I really think, you know how you get those images in books where you see 10 people did it and they all kind of did it the same way because there's really only one way to interpret the picture. There's, you know, I think these pictures, I think we're going to see radically different colorings if there's anybody besides me that thinks this book's amazing. Oh, yeah. Look at these moth girls with the whoa, scary eyeballs. Look, at, okay, bring it up close. What is going on there? That's my nightmare fuel. Um, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Look at these. Okay, the dresses, the patterns on the, you could do, oh, I'm going to have fun with those dresses. But then, and the pretty flowers, and then fairy wings, and then... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and those hands, they're like man hands. They're man hands with crazy black fingernails. Yeah, this is spooky. I really love when artists play with pretty and spooky and smash it together. For some reason, it seems more terrifying. I love this. I, you know, so far I think this would be a winner for my first page. But there's more. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, 
So these are apples with teeth and tongues. You know, I bet they're not apples. I bet, but they're some kind of a fruit. Because what are these plants? This looks like a banyan tree or some kind of like um, those tree, the walking trees, the trees that have all the roots in India. So maybe these are Mm, words fail me. I know what I think these might be. What do you guys think this, this fruit is? And then there's him, and he is part of the swamp. He's part of the tree. And then there's this random spinal cord with a skull. See, I just think there's so much you can do with pages like this. Do you make him the color of the tree? Do you make him the color of the swamp? Do you, do you make this not even a swamp? Do you make this clear blue water? Do you make this a beautiful picture of someone who's part nature? Do you play down this, this part, this scary creature weird part? Do you make the fruit glow? Which I'm now thinking I might wanna do. There's just so much. There's so many choices with these, even though they're scary and we can kind of identify what's in there. They're put together in such strange ways. What an interesting mind this woman has. Okay, this is one I saw on the flip through that I really, really want to do. I love to color frogs, but look at this frog. It's like one head and then all these legs. And it's in a tree. The trees in this forest are super scary. Here's some... Um, different interpretation of sort of a death's head moth and the foliage around it is cool mm, I'd really want to think long and hard about how I want to color the frog you know even though this is foresty I live in the forest so for me forests are browns and greens right and it's hard for me to see them any other way I'm going to push myself to not do every page in this book of browns and greens. I'm going to try to figure out, like, wouldn't this be fun if it was, like, in purples, you know? You make it, like, at night. I've seen a couple of you have been started doing, um, have been showing night pictures where you do everything in, like, blue tones. So it looks like dusk, where everything kind of looks blue, or everything kind of looks purple. If I figured out how to do that, that would be really cool for this to make the moths glow and everything else dark or something like that. I'm gonna to try to not do the obvious. All right, what do we have here? It's this, I don't know. What is that thing? Okay, that looks like a badger or a skunk. Fangs, beetles. Oh, this is a skull, but there's an eyeball in the middle, and I don't know what the skull is, is of. It's a skull of some sort of fanged creature. I really love all these plants. I love that it's not a bunch of flowers. I love that it's really woodsy stuff with these chanterelle mushrooms and the oak leaves. They look like oak leaves, and I don't know what these flowers are, but it probably doesn't matter. You can make them any color you want. And the roly-poly bugs... I think that's a badger. And I think it's just its head. These are pretty fantastical, aren't they? Definitely, I mean, none, I was gonna say it's not realistic. No, there are no, there's no realism. In myth. I mean, well, yeah, Nightmare Cabaret has got some realistic stuff, but it's still all fantasy. But this is like really fantasy. This reminds me of like, like in a sea of Kirby books, we all know that Alien Worlds is the one that we're all taking major chances and doing totally different things because it's complete fantasy and those aliens can be any color i feel like that same way with this book like this is complete fantasy and i can do anything with it picture plants and teeth oh i love this we have a forest we have a, a small here in oregon on the coast there's a 
preserve, a little park where there is a patch of plants that are like this. They're meat-eating pitcher type plants. They're only native to that one small little quarter acre and they're nowhere else in the state. And I don't know if they're anywhere else on the West Coast. So it's a really neat place to visit and they're kind of yellowish. So I think I would like to make them like that. Now they don't have teeth and these weird eyeball thingies, but wouldn't it be cool if they did? <laughs> I like this a lot. I'm gonna have fun with color and translucency. I don't think that's a word, but wouldn't it be fun to make these pitcher plants kind of translucent? And we get to play with making things look wet, I think, like wet leaves and wet stuff. I think that would be fun. I always look at pictures like, what can I experiment with? What can I learn in my coloring? I don't like to do things I know really well or the same thing over and over. I like to learn something in every picture I color so that I grow and get better. Now I saw this one and I was trying to figure it out. It looks almost like starfish, but I don't think it is. I think it's, but here's like a vortex thing. <laughs> what are these? I think it's just some kind of undergrowth plant, like something you might be stepping on when you walk through a forest. And I would highly recommend not because these things have four sets of teeth that look like they clamp. I see this in like in reds and purples. I think I'm just having a purple, purple mode, a purple time, a purple, can't think of the word. What is this? Rib cages, a raven, eyeballs. Ooh, look at it. It's really like, it's a skeleton tree. I love, I just love, maybe, I don't know what it is I love about her artwork. Maybe it's the flow. Everything kind of flows. You know, Joseph Kattenbang, everything kind of flows this way. He has swirls and things, and he has like lots of movement this way. And Fabiana Atanasio also has a lot of swishes, but she has a lot of crystals that jet up. Chelly seems to have just like growth that kind of like does this S flowy, smooth thing. So it seems to be the movement of her artwork. I really like this. I don't know. I think this is beautiful. I do. Now, I normally don't, wouldn't want to color a dead animal or an injured animal. I, it would just bother me. But living in the woods, I see decay, and decay is a part of the natural world. And I think in some ways, decay can be beautiful. Now, I'm not sure that this animal naturally just went out and died because there's some sort of underground creature hanging on to it with all of its legs, <laughs> its bony legs. But this picture doesn't bother me. It's more like um, a strange, fantastical creature, you know, some kind of a, she carefully didn't make it a real creature. I mean, it's got a, um, an odd tail and three eyes. but it's obviously been dead a while. And there are plants starting to grow through it, thistle plants. And this weird creature has come up out of the ground to eat it, it looks like. But can you imagine showing this on Instagram? You're like, hey, look what I colored today. <laughs> Thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> This is sort of a twisted green man, isn't it? Green man gone bad. He's got the typical face with the branches coming out in the leaves, but oh, he's got a tree in his eye. Look at that. It's like a tree a little in his eye. I like this picture. I can't tell, though, if the birds are there by choice or not, though. That one looks like it's being held. And... Okay, that one's got something growing out of its chest. So yeah, I don't think these, I think these birds are caught. <laughs> yeah, this is like green man, scary green man. He's got teeth. This would be another fun one though. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God, look at it. He's got like, he's, ah, uh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> These are like the scariest bees ever. <laughs> I don't think they're bees. They got, uh, maybe, I guess they've built like a hive, but I don't know if they're honey, cute little honeybees for sure <laughs> on him. And they're coming out of his eye. There's bugs in his eyes. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. It scares me so much, but I love it. Look at the larva coming out of his face. No. Oh my god. I have to color this. I'm gonna have to color this. You guys are gonna see this in a finished page because I have to color this. It's so it's so wrong. Oh I'm gonna definitely color this and I'm gonna enjoy every moment of it. <laughs> oh god, that's scary. I feel like the book is getting scarier. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Um, okay, the world's most frightening owl. Um, and some poisonous plants that are setting off noxious fumes. She does a lot with decay, doesn't she, in the forest? Like this owl is no longer with us. Um, and so many bugs. Boy, Doodles, if you can stand the, the the scary grossness of this book, there's a lot of cool bugs. I mean, these are centipedes. I've never, I can honestly say I've never colored a centipede before. But I'm gonna. Very cool. And I love all the ferns. Ferns are a cool plant. All these plants are like, poof. Like the one, there's ones closed up, but these are poof, letting off like poison spores. Oh, okay. I love this one. I think this is very sweet. You have this very scary, three-headed, multiple-eyed, bear-like, weird creature. Look at all the tongues. And yet, this child, who feels to me like she could use some love in her life, <laughs> has made friends with this scary creature. Look at her teddy bear with... Her teddy bear is missing an eye, and her teddy bear has seen some better days, but well-loved. I think this is very sweet. There is an artist, a famous artist. Um, I never can remember her name. I follow her on Instagram. She did She did um, a painting that became very famous. And now you can get it on mugs and t-shirts and prints. It's called The Hug. And it's um, a girl hugging a bear. So this is kind of a play on that. <laughs> but, but better. <laughs> Oh, it's fluffy. <laughs> so she has a teddy bear here and she has a bigger teddy bear here. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of uh, Nightmare Cabaret with the head, except in Nightmare Cabaret, the head would have like parts of the insides falling out. This one has plants. And is that like a little pixie creature? That's caught in a web. And this is a spider, but the back of the spider is a face with its eyes sewn shut. Did the spider like inhabit this dead head? I, I don't know. Super cool though. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys thinking do you hate it do you love it look at that okay <clears throat> never thought hummingbirds would be scary but look at their eyeballs <laughs> scary zombie hummingbirds and then you know everything's got eyes except for the human itself because that top of its head is gone um and the jagged fingernails. I love jagged fingernails. Wait, there's a lot of hands here. 
One, two, three hands. <laughs> Actually, you could make this one in very pretty colors. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity here. I mean, these are blackberries or raspberries, and there's a lot of opportunity to make some really pretty things. <laughs> I hope, I hope someone who's watching this video is liking this as much as I am. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it's on an alien planet. Is it a ship that's crashed? I don't know. What do you guys think this is? It looks like something man-made that's crashed into the forest, maybe? Hmm. I don't really know. I would say this is on an alien planet, though. More Venus fly traps, except these all have fingers in them. Yay. <laughs> I want to say these are bats, but are you seeing bats? Like, like there's the head of a bat, I think. Are these bat winged plants? Plants that have fur and bat wings, maybe? Maybe, maybe. I mean, there's something back there that looks like it might have, have bat heads. They're like plants that have bat wings, I think, that are flying out of the trees. I love coloring bat wings. I have a combination with my Tim Holtz watercolor pencils that I just love. Oh, this is cool. Okay, when I saw this one, I thought of this creature immediately as being female, and I don't know why, but I just saw it as sort of a primal female spirit. I think it's very cool. It has two heads. It's wolf-like. You know, it's crouched here. Um, it's kind of, this is, this one's kind of a deserty, you know, maybe deserty plants. I think this one's really cool and would love to do this one. It's almost like they have skin with fur instead of like, yeah, it's like there's, it's like this creature has skin with just long hair hanging off of it. And again, I love like there's little spores growing. I love all the little fungi growing, the mushrooms and stuff. But again, I see this and I go, oh, brown fur. And I, I want to get, I, I, I want to get away from that. I want to do things more daring. So we'll see. Oh, 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 it's cute. It's cute until you look at the squirrels. <laughs> murder squirrel and murder squirrel too. <laughs> they aren't Chip and Dale. Oh, wait, there's a third one. Murder squirrel three. I think, though, I'm going to say they're protecting these little um, devil babies. <laughs> I don't. Um, you know, they're cute. Then you see they have horns and either eyes or warts all over them and but they got little feathers and i'm hoping this isn't their umbilical cord that's wrapped all around i don't know what it is but it might be um twins little twins in the tree and the squirrels the murder squirrels are are um guarding them actually i think this is kind of a cool picture i really do I would do this one in a heartbeat. I would do this one. I might do this one first. I love these creatures. Okay, this was one that I really thought was 
very ingenious. I love, for one thing, I love pictures of snails anyway, but these are snails and their shells are skulls. So take a closer look at this one. I think that is clever. Because if I see one more turtle with a city on its back, I'm just gonna throw the book across the room because <laughs> I'm so tired of that look. But I love when they turn things into things and you see a lot of snails with shells that have become something else. But I, this first time, I have to say, first time I've seen is snails with, um, with skulls for shells. And I like it, I like it a lot. So, and it's got, you know, sli sli <coughs> slime trails. Let me have a drink of my lemonade. I really think that this would be a, a fun one. And snails, have it's, you can get, have so much fun with a wet look and iridescence. Cool. I thought this one was interesting. And now seeing it in person, I think it's even more interesting. These are like pilgrim folk or something. Way back when, <clears throat> exploring a forest. And I can't tell if they're just shocked into silence or if they're in a trance. And then the trees all have hands coming out. I thought this was interesting because it's so different from everything else in the book. Everything else in the book is like convoluted and complicated and this is not. You don't have that swirly, flowy feel in this picture. It's very, very structured. Um, <clears throat> and you have these actual human beings. It's a very interesting composition. I really, really like it. And I will color this page. Because it's different from anything I've ever seen. I've never seen... In all these books, they usually use just pure fantasy to make things look scary. This is... This is freaky, and there's no brains or eyeballs falling out or two-headed monsters. This is spooky stuff. This is like ghost story stuff. Okay. What do we have here? More snake. Except, whoa, that's a scary snake with one eyeball. Oh, it's Hansel and Gretel. Another twisted fairy tale. Oh, it's a... It's a crystal ball. So it's a crystal ball with the witch's hands and her snakes around it. And there's Hansel and Gretel looking down at the candy house. Love this one. There's candy around, twisted up with the snakes and the vines. Look at all the candies and stuff. Oh, this one's great. Yeah, there's so many fun stuff. First of all, you have cookies and candy. And you have Hansel and Gretel, which will be fun with their clogs and everything. But you have a crystal ball. So you have an opportunity to draw glass and make it look 3D. These witch hands. Oh, I love witch hands. These uh, snakes, these poisonous snakes looking things. This is a cool page. Oof, I'm looking forward to doing this one. And then, boom, we have something like this. Like a mandrake. Uh, <clears throat> mandrake plants. And of course, we all learned from Harry Potter that they scream. So they're all screaming or laughing, not sure. And then the big mandrake here actually has a rib cage and uh, part of a skull. And then there's all these baby mandrakes coming off of it. This would be fun just because it'd be fun to like work out what's a tuber and what's not. Never thought I'd color tubers. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this book. I hope you're having fun with me. Ooh, mice inside body parts of rabbits. Those aren't mice, those are rats. Rats inside rabbits? It's like a turducken, but no. <laughs> Did I just say that? Um, this rabbit has got skulls and bones in it. This one's got rats in it. And this one's got, yeah, it's the world's worst turducken. And this one's got frog and a lizard in it and then there's an eyeball right in the middle ew now see i would take this as sort of like a totem though i would i don't i wouldn't take this as reality i would make this into like 
you know, kind of like some made up astrological symbol or something. <laughs> Because it's got the moon and everything. It's like the Chinese New Year we didn't know existed. Hope nobody's born under this sign. If you're born under this sign, you don't tell anybody. Um, again, I love the plant life. She must live in a forest because that's what these forest plants do. Uh, we have a name for those. Are they candy, candy cane bells or something like that? And they're actually candy cane colored. Um, this is neat. This is a, a tree-like thing, but there's a hand coming up. And the fingers are candles. Ooh, I would have so much fun with light on this one. But I'm not sure I get these arm things hanging off the trees. Oh, from nooses? Oh, hell, look at that. These are nooses holding double-handed arms that are picking flowers. Oh, how nice. But are also steaming. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to make this a beautiful picture, like the, per the most beautiful picture I could possibly make it. And then people will be like, aren't those arms hanging out of that tree? <laughs> I think that's kind of the fun about this book is it like, it, well, I was just about to say, cause it could all, all these pictures could be actually really pretty, but I don't know about this one. This one's can't be pretty. <laughs> I don't know what's going on either. Okay, these are like fiddlehead ferns. And then there's a a boar. Okay, there's the boar's body with this, this big asparagus fern growing out of it. And all these plants. Oh, the hand. Oh, my God. The hand is stuck to the end of the tusk. I was wondering. Oh, he tore it off. Somebody's it's even still got a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Oh, God. Don't put a ring on it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. No, if you want it, put a ring on it. He wanted it. He just took it. Cool, though. Just the dynamicness the, of the picture, the movement of it, and the. I mean, it's just leaping out of the page at you, isn't it? It's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm. Is it a? Is it a? Is it mirrored? I mean, the, the guy stand, the silhouette in the doorway is freaky deaky. That's, um, oh my God, he's like holding a, oh, he's holding an ax. Yikes. So he's like an ax murderer, but it's doubled. Okay, these are lo with locks and chains. Oh, this is a, this is a serial killer uh, page. I did one of these in um, Night Terrors. I did the one where the guy with the pig head is standing in the swamp holding a baby doll. Oh, I guess I have colored a doll. Um, it was when I first started coloring, I did that one. And I really liked it. It was pretty scary. I think I'd like to do this one. Because one thing, I love to do metal. So this would be like... Like Freddy Krueger or something. This is, this is like your nightmare. Like the serial killer's nightmares. Or maybe his dreams. It's got like these, I can't tell if it's a, if it's supposed to be a mirrored image or just a, an image that's stretched. It's really cool. Symbolic of something. I bet you she has quite, quite a mind. She'd be quite a coffee date. Oh, he's not gonna make it very far. Something's grabbing onto him. The tree root? Oh, there's hands coming out of the ground grabbing onto him. 
Mmm. I don't think I want to know what all that is. Oh, he's scary. And was the shovel his or someone else's? <laughs> Again, could you imagine me posting this on Instagram? Thumbs up! <laughs> what? This is ravens. Ravens and bones and eyeballs. Common theme in these books. With drippy gooey stuff and a moan. That's all you need. All you need for a scary picture. A scary bird eating an eyeball. Get you every time. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, I love these pictures where there's a woman who's floating in water. Is she floating in water or is she really only par partial? Okay. I kind of wonder, I kind of think she might not have any bottom half. <laughs> The way it's, I don't know, but she may not have legs. We'll say she's floating. She's having a nice float. And in the water is a lot of skulls, but some nice lotus plants and some lilies. A koi fish swimming in a skull. Yeah, there's quite a few koi fish in there. I love this. Again, I would play up on this, making this, a pretty picture, you know, of a damsel floating in the lake. But, oh, I don't think she has a lower body. And, B, what's going on with her face? <laughs> but she's in this sort of suggestive, relaxed pose. Uh, this one will be a ton of fun. And, you know, it's not necessarily the pond that I would want to swim in. But, you know, to each their own. So many pages. More eyeballs. Eyeballs are a big theme. These look like cabbage plants. I wonder if she's got a sense of humor. Because you know how they used to, for there for a while, they put babies in cabbage plants. Like, be, especially in pictures, would be a cabbage plant and then a baby growing out of it. This one's growing eyeballs. It's like she's taken, like, common themes and made them totally messed up. <laughs> <laughs> totally messed up. So, hey, do you want it? Do you like to color succulents and greens? And here you go. Here's a nice botanical page for you. This one um, is one of my favorites. I do remember this one from Grumbled Money's flip through. This one, um, these fairies are the kind of fairies I like to color. I mean, I love the concept of fairies, but I really get tired of the little cute little princess fairies. I like the fairies that are, pr are kind of originally what fairies were thought to look like, like little scary creatures. And I love the way it's flying. It's just like, what? I'm just flying in. I mean, it's not even pretty. And then these eyes that look almost real looking out of this tree. I mean, these fairies, these are cool fairies. These are impish puck-like fairies, right? That is, there's puck right there. And there, yeah, these are straight out of a Shakespearean tale. This is a cool page. This this one, I can imagine if people buy this book that this is one page that's going to get done. You know, it's less gory and just more spooky. I have to think long. I definitely, though, would still want to make this natural colors, you know, because these nature creatures. I'm going to have to think a bit about it. This is fantastic. Oh my God, those are skewered mice. Oh hell, look at that. <laughs> I don't like the dead mice. But I don't know, circle of life. The, the birds are eating him. So, you know, birds gotta eat, I guess. But what's this eyeball and these scales? What is all that? What is this creature? I was gonna say it's a tree, but I think it's I think that's a mouth. I think it's some kind of spiky, huge creature that the mice got impaled upon and now oh it's a bird feeder. See, isn't that nice? In the winter birds run out of food and you know these look like murder birds and they're just having a little snack. It's a bird feeder. Got it. 
Oh, cool. Sasquatch. Um, okay. These creatures are cool. And there's this, just this beautiful botanical stuff in this picture. I mean, you don't have to, I mean, you can make it a really cool picture. Just these wild, untamed nightmare creatures in a forest. Zombie Bigfoots. Zombie Squatch. All right, so there's the Frozen Nightmares. That's the one I don't have. I don't have Gory Underworld either. Um, Gory Underworld was not one really that appealed to me. It's more like movie themed, but I need to look at it again. Um, it might be one that I want, but I love, love, love Night Terrors and Nightmare Cabaret, of course, and Darkest Desires. That's the Gothic Romance one. I have, I've only done one picture in there and I didn't like what I did to it, so I need to get back into that one. I've done the most out of Night Terrors. Um, and of course, y'all know I love Nightmare Cabaret, but it's the grossest one of the three that I've looked, well, the four that I've looked through. I haven't, yeah, I saw the flip through of all five of them. Nightmare Cabaret is the most gory one, for sure. And what's more gory than this one? But what do you guys think? What do you think about this? Will you get it? Are you interested at all in this book? Um, I think it's pretty neat. I think it's got, I think it's different. I think we're seeing something that's different from this artist, different than what we've seen in the other Mythagorias. Although every Mythagoria is different. Nightmare Cabaret by Fausti Bianchi was, is completely different than all of these. So I don't know, I, I really like it. I think I like it because this is going to channel a different side of me. The, I mean, I love nature. So this is scary in nature. I think that's why I loved the both the Krampus picture and the Wendigo picture that I did at on Night Terrors the last couple months. They were in nature. And I think I just, I don't know, something about this book just really calls to me and I cannot wait to start in it. So if you've got this book or interested in this book and you'd like to do a buddy, obviously mine is completely untouched. So I'd be happy to do any page in it. And thank you for going along on this ride with me. I was so excited. I just had to share with you. All right, you all have a wonderful evening. Night, night.